Um, uh, so this is the story of how I got lost in San Francisco. So this was uh, probably late September of last year, and it was like around the time where it starts getting dark late early. So it was me and my boyfriend because we attended the same school together, and uh, I live in like the Vietnamese side or the Asian side of San Francisco, and so you know I've not had Mexican food in months now. At this point, we're like three or four months in. <laughs> bro, like, I gotta really some like I could really use some tortas right now. And he's like, bro, same. And so we look, we look at this called like torta place. Because, you know, they're all in South SF, and we, at this point we haven't been to South SF, so we're like, alright, cool. So, I, we have free public transportation, so we're about to get there by public transportation. And then Matt, midway, he's like, hey, I bet you $5 that I'm not going to be able to get, I'll be able to get there by board quicker than you on the Muni, which is like the train. And I was like, alright, bet, bet, I'll be $5 richer, cool. So, he takes his board and I start going on public transportation, and I'm on public transportation, like the Muni, for like 20 minutes, and we stop at an accident. And I'm like, oh, so I'm waiting there, and I'm like, damn. And I'm just like, I don't want to walk the rest of the way, it's like another like 30 minute walk. And 20 minutes go by, and I'm like, nah, and they open the doors, and I'm like, sorry, we're not going to be able to move for like, I don't know how long, and I'm like, whatever, cool, whatever. So I get off, and I'm like, it's cool, I'm, I'm going to lose. At this point, I've already accepted my loss. So I call Aaron, and I'm like, Aaron, I lost 20 minutes on the Muni. He's like, don't even trip, dog. I got lost and I made a big old circle. And I'm like, oh shit, cool, you know? Like, I still have chances of winning. So at this point, I'm walking on the up cool, like, I'm chilling. But then I'm not chilling because I'm like, wait, I've never been to south of San Francisco and I'm alone and it's getting dark. So at this point, I'm walking alone. I'm alone. So I'm like, anybody walking behind me, I'm like, oh, they're gonna kill me. I'm cool, chilling. The street lights are on, people could see me. So I'm like, never mind. I'm a little scared, but you know, how far can I be? So I'm walking next to a freeway, and I'm trying to follow, follow navigation, and I walk by this freeway overpass, you know, the ones that go over the freeways, the bridges, and it's like scary. It's like one of those hospitals with like one or two, three, four lights or whatever. And the, the deeper you look in it, the darker and scarier it is. And I'm like, hell no, no, never. On God, never, never in my life. So I'm looking by and I'm like, oh, bless the poor soul of us to go through there. And then I'm following my navigation and it's telling me to go back. And I'm like, hell no. So I keep walking, like, it's gonna reroute, I'm cool, I'm cool. And I'm walking for like five more minutes and it just keeps telling me to go back. And I'm like, oh God, no, all right. So I have to go back and I'm like, all right, I guess I'm gonna die today. You know what's cool? There's lights. As long as there's lights, you know? I'm fine, you know, after I had stopped, maybe somebody will see me, somebody on the freeway or whatever. So I'm walking in, I'm like, I'm cool, but to get down, it's like a little zigzag, um, and that's completely dark, it's pitch black, and I'm like, this is where drug deals happen, like, this is where people get their kidneys stolen, <laughs> like, I'm scared at this point, like, at this point, I'm actually freaking out, like, before I was scared, now I'm, like, verge of having a panic attack. So I'm calling Aaron, and I put my flashlight on, I'm like, Aaron, Aaron, where are you? And I don't know where I am. I'm only following navigation. I'm like, Aaron, Aaron, I think I'm gonna die. Like, I don't know where I am. And I'm walking down, I'm walking down. Like, at this point, I'm literally jogging. I'm like, no, I gotta get out of here. And I see it leads to like this empty tire lot. And I'm like, Aaron, Aaron, I don't know where this leads. Like, this doesn't lead to a street. And I run out and I finally, it, it does lead to a street, but I, I didn't see it. And I was like, God, thank God. But it was an empty street. So I'm like, if I get stolen or if I get stabbed, nobody can see me die. You know, like, I won't have a witness to my death. So, so my only hope right now, is that I get to a busy street. So I'm jogging and at this point, I'm like, Aaron, are you at this park? He's like, no, I'm over here. And I'm like, where's that? I don't, I don't know where I am. So at this point, I'm like this on the GPS. I'm like, on my phone, I'm like, oh no, I, can't, I don't know where I am. <sighs> so I finally get to a busy street. And at this point, I'm like, I can calm down. The worst part is over. I'm chilling. No, I'm not. So a group of people are crossing the street and I'm just trying to make my way through. And one car decides to pull the hit and run. And it hits a woman and she goes flying. And I'm like, holy shit, like I just witnessed a murder. Like, oh, my, you know, right when I'm trying to calm down and I'm like, at this point, I'm having a heart attack. I'm like, oh my God. So I'm like, everyone's calling the police. My only bet right now is to just get to Aaron as quick as possible. So I'm running and I'm running and I'm like, I finally get to the torta place and I'm crying at this point. At this point, this wasn't worth a fucking torta. You know? like, I'm so angry. And I'm crying, I'm, I'm sobbing, like, Aaron, don't ever leave me again. Why did you do this? I cried, and I sobbed, and I was like, I really thought I was going to die. 100% thought I was going to die. And he's like, 
I'm so sorry. Like, I'm just, I don't know what I would have done if I lost you. Like, world, I would have been dead. I don't know. <laughs> he's like, so he buys me a torta. And he's like, the, the bed's off. I'm like, yeah, but you, no, I'm not giving you five dollars. And, you know, the tortas were right. They were right. So I was like, all right. Moral of the story, don't try to risk your life with tortas. 